Hey, you guys! Good morning. It's a uh, early morning. We parked the boat last night at Chafee's Locks and uh, decided to get some coffee and head out and do a little bit of venturing around Chafee's Locks. Currently, I'm just walking on this dirt road, um, trying to see what's in this little town. So, uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. Wanted to share a quick ta travel tip for you. If you come out here and you do the uh, Le Boat tour, a couple things that you want to make sure you bring along is bug spray. <laughs> Mosquito repellent. I am from Jacksonville, Florida originally. Grew up in the swamp and I have never seen anything like this. They have mosquitoes the size of birds that'll carry you away. Stock up on a little bit more food than what you would normally uh, think you're gonna need. A couple things that we noticed, when you go in and out of these lock systems, you go to a small town, uh, they may or may not have a restaurant that are open. So, uh, it's been a relaxing week. It's been fun. If you get a chance, Look at uh, LeBoat's website. I'll put a link below. Definitely a different vacation and worth every minute of this it. This is for the kids. They probably have no clue what we're sitting here staring at. This is an old fashioned payphone, kids. So the crazy thing is, is we've seen them all along our trip in all these small little towns. And the reason being is cell phones don't work out here. Most of the time, if we can't find a, a Wi-Fi signal to grab onto, we have no data. It's been kind of relaxing and nice and enjoying the uh, peace and quiet of losing modern technology. It's a nice little uh, town. It's got a nice little restaurant and bar, um, hotel, bunch of cabins if you want to stay here and don't want to rent a boat. Uh, it's a really nice little uh, quiet place. Lots of wilderness. Obviously the big draw to this cruise that uh, we've been doing is to go up and down the rivers and see obviously just the beauty of mother nature. boat has come in to the lock system. The bow and stern thrusters make it really easy to navigate these 44 foot single screw boats. Perth is really cool. I like Perth. Yeah, yeah we went to a restaurant called uh, Rocky River okay. and uh, it was good food. Yeah, yeah, so. Let's try that out. See, maybe, so we can get to Jones though today. Jones Falls, we can get there today. Yeah. And if we go Lake, is it just a straight shot? Because I know there's a lot of little inlets, right? Um, when you get, once you start going through there, you're going to hit a little cove. You need right. to pay attention to the signs. You need to make a left hand turn. It'll look like you're supposed to go straight yeah. and kind of confusing on the charts, but uh, you need to make, you know, head left. Don't go straight through. Oh, yeah. Because uh, it gets shallow and there's a bunch of rocks. We, we almost missed that turn. Newborough, Ontario. This is the town of Newborough. Not a whole lot here. Just a little uh, clothing store. You get some local goods. But nice and relaxing place. You can't buy a Canadian t-shirt to save your life, so they don't have any uh, trinkets. 
as you can tell, every town we've been to, they haven't had any of the uh, tourist traps. So we think that's a muskrat. We're not really sure. But he's kind of cool looking. Definitely of the rat family. If anybody knows what this animal is, please comment below. I'm curious to find out. Small town of Renault Ferry uh, to come and get some of this Jimmy's uh, snack shack on the word of Ian, our lock master from our first couple days out here on our La Boat cruise. So hopefully we're going to get some good uh, euros. A whole lot of food for the money. Definitely hit Jimmy's uh, snack shack when you're up here. I'll put a link below. Decided to come back to Westport to spend the night. It's probably one of the bigger towns on the voyage that we've been on. It's a really cute little town of Westport. Ontario, Canada. Trying to make it for sunset at Spy Rock at Westport, Ontario, Canada. Mosquitoes are thick. We made it out to Spy Rock in Westport, Ontario, looking down on the little town just before sunset. And I'll tell you what, the view is spectacular. Look, he's a beaver. That is cool. The other day we came into the Cove Country Inn and had lamb burgers. Had to come back here and eat lamb burgers again. They're so amazing. We're back at Country Cove Inn watching some Canadian karaoke. We rented a car and came out to Kingston. We're at Fort Henry. It's kind of closing up for the day. Just wanted to come and check out the Kingston Fort. It's really neat. Ontario. This place is really cute, very old school. You can definitely see the British influence down here. 
Lots of little uh, bars, restaurants, shops. You can definitely see a lot of the old structures and then meets modern structure at the same time. One thing I'll tell you about the Canadians is they are super friendly people. I've been all over the world and I've never met a more friendly group of people than the Canadians. So if you get the opportunity, come out here to Kingston, Ontario, and meet the people. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you would, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I know you've been looking at it the whole time this video's been going on. Just hit that button, subscribe button and go ahead and share it with a friend. And don't forget, thank you for living life.